when the United States dropped atomic bombs <clears throat> on Japan during World War II, our closest neighbors became very concerned for the existence of humanity. Because they saw that we were on the brink of extinction, basically. If some other country had decided to retaliate with atomic bombs, it could have initiated an atomic war that would have annihilated most of human life. Maybe in some remote areas where the fallout didn't reach them or something, they would have survived. So this is a reality. But what they don't know is that there's other observers and in the spiritual existence it's not proper to let someone do this. So they could intervene where in other instances they could not because we were actually on the brink of annihilation. And in our culture we have like drawings, prophecies, stories where the world leaders were advised not to follow this course of action. And they were instructed that if they did, that there was going to be serious consequences. And if they did choose an alternative method to resolving conflicts, they would be benefited with higher technology. That this technology can actually be downloaded into a human's consciousness through methods that we are totally unaware of. And we can help you create a society with higher technology, but you cannot use it for war. So one of the things that we need to do as humans is to really work actively for peace. This is a responsibility that we have to have. We actively have to work for peace on the planet. Everyone has to. Like, do not support war for any reason. Do not support violence against any type of war. We have to become, as humans on the planet, we have to be like peaceful people in order for the human consciousness to interact and re-attain the true high levels of technology that are going to change this doomsday scenario into one where humans are living. And it's not about a population explosion. The earth has enough resources to sustain the amount of people that are on the planet, believe it or not. They can. There have been larger civilizations. When the Europeans arrived to Mexico City, there was a million inhabitants just in Mexico City. And they had no diseases. There was no hunger. There was no war. People were living in community. A million people were living in Mexico City when the Spanish arrived. And so this is attainable. It's not something that's far-fetched. So this is why I refer to this previous civilizations and the present situation. And one of the, one of the critical things is that we need to stop using technology to destroy human life. And the situation is so bad that they have artificial intelligence with the capacity to take human life. They have robots that have weapons and they've given them authority to kill humans. This is the, where we don't want to be. So if you're in any position, anywhere, to make a decision that promotes peace instead of war, where it promotes technology for the use of benefiting mankind and not for destroying human life, then you should always choose the peaceful way. And this is going to advance humanity.